Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Path to Glory and the World Cup promo is taking over FIFA 23 Ultimate Team, and I love it, and I think a lot of you guys do too, because the content yesterday was the craziest that I have like ever seen, ever, on a FIFA Friday, on a promo Friday. It was absolutely insane. All of the different content pieces that we had from SBCs to objectives, crazy amount of content and objectives with the World Cup swaps program. Of course, on the market, we've got new World Cup heroes. We have Path to Glory cards that are in packs. And we, of course, have all these brand new limited time items, the red cards, that we are all figuring out how they work, what they do, and starting to realize how we need to collect these players, even though they're going to go away and they're going to go poof and disappear, right? You see the timer down there in the bottom left? These are time limited cards. These are the ones that we've been talking about and thinking about over the past couple days after seeing the info about how they're going to work from EA. We have them now in the game and I want to talk about everything related to all of this and make it make sense for you guys, especially after getting the official information from EA. And what goes without saying is the market's going crazy as well. So that's what we're going to talk about at first in today's video. We're also going to cover the leaks for potential content today on Saturday and how the market could continue to move as this promo continues to go on. So if you're excited for the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk market. And first, let's talk about these Path to Glory cards that are absolutely insane. None of these guys were leaked yesterday at the time of the video. We talked about guys in the video like Bruno Guimaraes. We talked about Nkunku. We talked about Kyle Walker. And none of those guys were in the promo team. I think what ended up happening was the leaks that Foot Sheriff had were for team number two. And instead, EA was putting the, them cards in backwards or something. And this team, Team 1, was leaked yesterday a couple hours before content. But it was really a bit of a surprise seeing some of these huge name players in this promo. Vinny Jr., 2.3 million coins. I do feel like a lot of these Path to Glory cards are a bit overpriced. But it's because they are in such high demand because their upgrades are massive. Speaking of this Vinny Jr., look at this upgrade. A plus two overall, plus four shooting, plus three physical and three passing. And of course, the biggest aspect to all of these cards is they are live. They represent the nation of the player and they will upgrade based on how that player does in the World Cup, right? Of course, the first upgrades, it's very nice of EA as well to lay this all out for us. They've been very, very nice this year telling us when the upgrades are going to happen for specific cards. So the biggest day of upgrades is going to be December 3rd, which is in a little bit less than a month from now with whoever gets out of the group stage and into the knockout rounds of the World Cup. That's going to be our first upgrade for all these cards. I believe for literally all of them, it'll be plus ones because nobody is 84 rated or below. We have 85 Plata, we have 85, somebody else, oh yeah, Oviedo. So no 84, so it'll only be plus ones for all these upgrades, no plus twos overall, um, even though it is a plus one inform upgrade. But these cards are insane and they seem to be pretty rare and they seem to be in very high demand. I actually bought a Bernardo Silva literally about two hours ago for 510,000 coins and I sold him at six or at 580. 587 is what I sold Bernardo for and now he is 650. These cards are incredibly rare on the top tier ones. They're incredibly rare and they are incredibly in demand. But again, I think it's the combination of these cards being live, being brand new. The market is now healthy again. Oh, Oh, I don't have any coins, bro. That's like a huge undercut. Oh my goodness. That's literally like a 90k undercut and I'm broke because I just bought an icon to try to flip and this Griezmann is literally sitting there and now it's gone. But GG's. Um, these cards are in super duper high demand because they have insane upgrades again and they are live and we haven't had new promo cards that are this exciting for like a while. Like I would really say Road to the Knockouts was the last promo. I mean, last week with uh, or two weeks ago with the out of position promo was pretty good too. But these cards, and especially with the market, everybody's starting to open their packs, the market being healthy in terms of um, people are no longer scared to buy cards because they've seen the market crash now. They've seen the gold cards go down like crazy and people opened all their saved up packs yesterday. So now they have coins to go out and do stuff. There's no more like scared aspect to the market and anticipation of big content. People are buying, people are spending coins, playing the game. There's a lot of fun. There's a lot of interactive content. Uh, people are having a lot of fun. That's what I should say. Uh, and that's why I think you're seeing these brand new promo cards get really, really expensive. So keep an eye on them today. 
I do think that a lot of them are overvalued. Like I said, Vinny being 2.2 mil, they're still, it's again, like the, the first day that they're in packs, I don't think these prices are going to last for forever, especially for a lower rated card, like maybe Carval Hall. I think De Young is overvalued, Bernardo Silva, Griezmann. I think these guys will end up dropping off as we head out of the weekend, but just keep in mind, uh, that these cards are very, very hyped as well, and they are live. So we're going to have to keep a close eye on them throughout the week. Araujo being 300k, these guys were all cheapest. With the insane pack supply that we talked about, these guys were all cheapest, literally for every single one of them. They were all their lowest price in the first hour. Griezmann was like 300,000 coins, exploded to 500k, went down to 430, and is now 570, 580, right? I said the same thing about Bernardo Silva. I bought him at 513k, like right here. And then he has just absolutely exploded up to 650, even after he I sold him at 587k. So be careful with these cards. I think they will drop heading into content today on Saturday. We'll talk more about Saturday's content here in just a minute. But I also want to look at the other brand new cards for today and on the game just now are these World Cup heroes. And just like the Path to Glories, these guys are incredibly incredibly hyped and their prices are moving all over the place as well now again it's day one for these guys so you're like nate aloarian's base hero card is 160k and this one with a plus two and 99 pace with a cool dynamic image is 550k it's brand new it's hype and it's got an upgrade so people want to use it and they want to try it out that is where we are at right now with these world cup heroes and yes they are pretty cool it's only team one that is in packs of course and they're only out for seven days and i want to go to the faq and look at the official info from ea sports on this uh because like we thought that was going to be it is confirmed that these cards are only going to be in packs across two team releases they will replace their base hero while in packs um, and some of them are going to be available via sbcs and objectives now the first team of these cards that was released today, we were a bit surprised to see a couple cards in here, namely Compos and who's the other one? Compos and there's another card that I was not expected to be expecting. Oh, Yunberg. Yunberg and Compos were not in the original list of players that EA was going to put out as World Cup heroes, but they ended up getting items. So not entirely sure what's going on with that. Also, we have a leak today for Saturday's content for another one of these that could potentially be an SBC. I'll take a look at that, of course. But these cards are fluctuating like crazy in price as well. And they were very low first hour. That was the name of the market game yesterday with the brand new cards. They were low early with all the supply, 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 hitting all the packs being open. And then they exploded as people got coins. So I bought a QL for like 355, sold it at 400. He's even above that now. Just be very careful trading with this, these heroes. If you'd like to quick flip trade this market and these brand new Path to Glory and the World Cup hero cards are going to be your favorite cards to trade with in this game because they move all the time. They're rare because they're brand new and they're in such high demand so i do think that all of those are going to end up going lower over the next couple of days as we have content and of course more supply over the weekend and stuff like that but they are very very hyped and it's again incredible player selection incredible stat boost for me sports huge w now let's take a little bit of a look as the rest at the rest of the market as a whole um your high tier stuff if we're talking about stuff to make coins with and what moved on the market yesterday your higher tier cards, I'm talking about cards that are like three, 400,000 coins plus. Those are the ones that did the best yesterday. Take a look at Franck Ribéry. He was actually 500 and I think it was like 570K yesterday in the panic selling. Um, there was some panic selling after content and a lot of prices ended up going lower, but then some of them rebounded like we expected. Ribéry up 100,000 coins. Neymar's inform yesterday um, heading into the content was like 950 and I believe now he is about 1.07, yeah, 1.06, 1.07. So he rebounded up very nicely. It was your more top tier expensive cards that had the best rebounds. Uh, you know, the out of positions Cancelo is another one that I could use as an example. He was like 420,000 coins. He rebounded back all the way above 500K, where he is now 512, 515. So a lot of rebound on your high tier meta side of the market. Some of your other hero cards like Yaya, Marquisio, those did very well, right? They rebounded up very nicely. But a lot of your market is also down horrendous 
at the moment. And that is what we were worried about throughout the whole entire week was gold cards. These guys got absolutely dusted because again, that supply. And if you just think about it, people are going to be upgrading away from these in their teams. Every single new promo that we get, people are doing SPCs. They're packing cards untradeable or they're doing objectives and adding different cooler brand new cards into their team that replace some of these gold cards that have been out since the start of the game. And that for me is one of the biggest reasons why you see these gold cards dropping so much. The supply and also just the lack of demand for them as new cards come out and as these are, you know, kind of this kind of disassociated with and kind of like thought forgotten about because they're in the past. So there were some big drops on these golds. There was also some opportunity to make coins on them as well. I've even bought in some Cancelo tonight. Speaking of Cancelo, some gold cards I think will rise up nicely into today on Saturday as will some of the promo cards from the World Cup team with the Path of Glory. So I bought some Cancelo, like 48K on Snipe. Uh, again, you can see Cancelo was 65K, went down to 43 in like the peak of the panic selling and supply kind of came to a head right there. He rebounded back up to 53, went back down into the 40s, and that's where I said, I'm going to pick some up. So I think you'll see some rises today on gold cards, on some meta cards. And I think that some of these World Cup heroes and Path to Glories will end up rebounding back up into today on Saturday as well. But then I think as we get towards content, you might start to see some of them drop off a little bit because Saturday's content wise, and we can get into this conversation here for a second on what to expect today. Saturdays in the past couple weeks, if you remember, they've been dropping some store packs on Saturdays. Now I'm gonna have to go into draft here to get into the store because I'm technically have some cards that are unassigned from my packs that I opened yesterday that I'm waiting for an SBC to go and do. Uh, we had promo packs yesterday. We had a lot of them. We did not get lightning rounds, but we had 25Ks, 45Ks, 50K packs, which is a foundations pack. It's here for like five days. Uh, it contains these World Cup player items, right? The limited time ones with player picks. A uh, 100K pack that contains those World Cup items as well. That's going to refresh today. And then we had an essentials pack, which a lot of people were going and doing this because it seemed to have pretty insane pack weight. It's 125,000 coins. Again, I really don't like spending the money or spending the FIFA points, I mean, or the coins on these, especially the coins. I think it's really not that great of value. Um, but I think that there's potential for another pack like this to drop today on Saturday because that's what they've done the past two weeks. And we've seen some supply hit the market. Even though it's untradeable, it takes coins off the game as well because people open it with coins. They gamble. They try to get something sick. I mean, you see the pack odds. 21% of a Path to Glory player, 11% of a World Cup hero. People want to take that gamble. So, yes, everything in the pack is untradeable, so it doesn't hit the market. But it does affect the market because people open those packs with coins. I would watch out for that today. On Saturday, of course, we're going to have new promo packs in the store. Like you saw there, the ones like the 100K, 25K, 35K, those are expiring. So we'll have some new supply hitting the store there today. Now, also, we have a pretty big leaked SBC. And I think this would be a perfect SBC for EA to drop today on a Saturday to get the hype going. Yesterday, SBC-wise, we had the Bergeist card that was released. And that was kind of it. it SBCs actually yesterday and Friday were like the least hype part of the game if i'm being completely honest but this could be spicing that up today keen robbie keen this is a card that we didn't expect to get a world cup hero card because he was not one of the brand new 21 foot heroes uh from team one right from these heroes that we thought were going to be the only ones to get the world cup heroes but this is a leak from foot sheriff if these stats are legit if this card is anywhere near affordable this is going to make strikers take a big hit because premier league strikers or a premier league hero like this remember robbie keen last year robbie keen even this year is a very very hype hero card even though he's been in the game for two years now with the stat boost that this is looking like you give him 90 pace shooting and dribbling this, of course, is going to be an explosive card, not lengthy or anything like that. But there's going to be a lot of hype for this SBC for the dynamic image, for the links, for the stats that he has. People will want to try to craft this through upgrade packs and the like. So I would be very careful with all strikers in the game today, even some of Holland's special cards, some of the other very popular strikers on the market. If this is good value, again, it all hinges upon this SBC being good value because if they drop a Robbie Keane SBC today, and that SPC is like 700,000 coins. 
you know, people might chip away at it and end up getting it done over time, but that's that's not really going to impact the market that much. But this Robbie Keane card was about 200k before all the madness started, and if that SBC with a pretty solid upgrade ends up being like less than three to 400k, I think a lot of people would go out and do that Robbie Keane card, and that would really wreak some havoc on the market. So that's a potential piece of content in SBCs for today on Saturday. Another leaked SBC we have is this Paulinha. Road, uh, I keep saying road to the knockout. It's not road to the knockouts. It is path to glory. So this is another PTG card that we have leaked that is a specific SBC type card. Um, Inception, of course, loves this card. He's replying to this tweet. Absolute beast uh, of a card. So we'll see what this happens and what the price point is for this when it drops. But shouldn't be that crazy. But still, that's potential content for today on Saturday. I would expect to see, like I said, a bit of a sell-off. On your World Cup um, icons, or sorry, your World Cup heroes, and uh, these Path of Glory cards, I think you'd see some sell-off heading into the 6 p.m. time frame. If content is an L, watch for a bit of a bounce back. You might be able to trade in and out really quick with some of that stuff there. So that's a big roundup for the market. Actually, I forgot one thing, SBC fodder, and it's time to talk about fodder because fodder is back down as expected with the supply You've got prices that are really, really low. My best advice to you is buy fodder this weekend. I don't know if there's going to be a best point to say, hey, this is the best time to buy fodder. Yesterday, 84s, 85s, 86s, everything was on bid for super duper cheap. Prices are still very, very low. And a lot of people bought fodder yesterday because it was during the mass time of supply. I think that was a good shout. I still think fodder buying is a good shout. Do a club stock and forget about it or put some cards to your transfer list if you don't mind waiting again the key here with fodder as it always is is you buy it and then you have to end up waiting to see okay how long is it going to be before this stuff goes up what SBC is going to be released to make it go boom it might not be this week that SBC fodder goes crazy like it has in weeks past it all depends on the content that we get but the best idea is to buy a couple put it in the club put it in the transfer list it's a great time to buy it especially on bid especially on snipe get some of those low prices and I think that we'll see fodder rise up in due time. This is November, right? A time of the year inside of the World Cup, especially where EA is going to drop some big pack SBCs that are going to be gamble packs that people are going to go and need SBC fodder for. So I really like 84s, like 85s, 86s as well. They seem pretty good. And I like 91s. I like Anytime you can get a Benzema or a Lewandowski at like 39,000 coins, I think that's fantastic. You are one icon SBC away and one 89 rated squad requirement on a semi hype SBC away from these cards going to like 55K. So I love club stocking a Benzema or a Lewandowski under 40,000 coins. I think that's almost like zero risk, especially when Neuer and Courtois being one rating less are like 38,000 coins as well. So I really like fodder, stock up, get on it. But just again, know that if you buy it, you're probably going to have to end up waiting for a while until it actually goes to the moon because it's the weekend, right? And we have a lot of supply and a lot of our big time gamble SBCs usually happen during the week. So that's not the time that we see fodder go up. Usually this is the time when fodder is low. So that's that. Now I want to talk about all the other content and I want to try to make clear and make specifically understandable the stuff that we had dropped in objectives yesterday, especially help you guys through some of the hard to understand stuff and look through the rewards because this is confusing because it's brand new. We've not seen stuff like this before. And especially if you're trying to get some of this done, like, yo, how do I score a goal with a player from guitar? How do I get a player from guitar, you know, to score a goal and, and do all this stuff, right? Well, I have some tips for you guys. So I want to talk about it. Now, first of all, there's a couple things that are going on in here, right? We've got the swaps showcase. This is in rivals or squad battles. This is just to get you some swap tokens, right? There are 14 swap tokens that are available at the moment. The free one that they gave us, the two that are in the season progress, and then the rest of the showcase ones and the FIFA World Cup swaps week number one. Uh, it is very nice to have multiple days to go ahead and do this. All of these objectives are in objectives and they are available for 41 Day. So you don't have to be in a hurry to get this done at all. The only hurry that there is, is if you're trying to get somebody for your team that is from the reward set of swaps, once you go and get those uh, objectives done, of course, you go into SPCs, just like you normally do with swaps, 
and you go into here and you turn it in, right? We we got all the rewards here, everything from 40 tokens, Patrick Vieira, all the down to like two token guys. But if you're trying to get somebody like maybe it's Brant or that Danilo Perea card for your team, then getting it done faster would be, of course, uh, a motivating factor for you. But I really think that this swaps grind, it's going to be something that takes us a while and it's just so grindable for everybody. And it's not just an objectives. I'll show you in a second. There are some foot moments they give out some really, really incredible packs. So this is the deal with objectives though, right? You have to play that friendly mode. Uh, to, what is it? The showcase, right? The FIFA World Cup swaps. Yeah, FIFA World Cup swaps week one. You play in the live foot friendly World Cup swaps. You have to win matches. It's gold and gold. There's no limit to the number of games you can play per day, but you have to play with a certain number of items in your starting squad. So it's basically you're going into a gold and gold game, trying to score with uh, a certain kind of made-up team with these uh, Dutch World Cup player items or English World Cup player items. And you're like, Nate, how do I get these World Cup player items? Well, there's packs that give them out, right? These essentials packs that you see. Let's say you have six, like everybody has some of these items because you logged into the game and they gave you a free pack, right? They gave you some of these. But if you're struggling for some of these players to get and to start off with, what I would say to do is, um, you can go in here and do some of these other ones that you don't need um, the actual World Cup players for. Like if you do through Japan, right? You just play a squad medals match with some players from Japan in your squad and you assist seven goals and you get one of those Group A Essentials packs. And Group A, actually a lot of people are struggling to get the Qatar players to start getting their objectives going. If you can get a Group A and B World Cup players pack, either through Moments, which we'll look at in a second, or the one that we just talked about, the Through Japan objective, that'll get you a Group A Essentials pack, which could potentially give you some Qatar uh, players that you could then go and do the objectives with, the other objectives. So it's a little bit confusing to get off the ground with this because it's not the easiest to find out how do I get these limited red cards. And if you're not even sure what cards I'm talking about, the ones that go poof and the ones that disappear, these guys, right? All of us had a pack yesterday. When you logged into Ultimate Team, you could choose a nation and you, you could open a pack and get some of these cards. These are the ones that you need to build a team with and then go into objectives and get some of those objectives done. So those objectives you, you can complete using those limited time World Cup cards to get the swaps tokens and then go ahead and turn in for the rewards. And just to quickly speak about the rewards, I mean, what a set of rewards 50 tokens right that is confirmed by ea 50 tokens with a couple bonus ones being in the store they said you can earn up to 50 tokens in game um two of the 50 tokens will be in reward rewards ladder in season progress and uh he said there will be look for bonus world cup swap tokens available in the foot store so there's that per usual but again like the best value here is so hard to find because we just there's so many different options. The biggest one that I think is almost a must do, unless you're trying to get a ton of players or you're trying to go for Vieira, is this one. A 20 token, three times, 84 times 20. Yes, that means exactly what you think it means. You will get three 84 times 20 packs if you turn in 20 tokens. Yes, three. That's an 84 times 60. The biggest 84 plus pack we have ever seen in this game. If you do 20 tokens, you get one of those. I think that for the best value calculation in any situation, I feel like that has to be a part of the calculation. That's 60 players that are 84 plus that you can use in SBCs down the road. So of course, it's not attainable right now, but as we get more objectives released, you'll be able to get uh, enough swap tokens to turn that in and get those cards. So that's a big W there. I would go after that sooner rather than later. Um, especially if there's SBCs that you want to craft. So that's a big W. And that only costs 20 tokens. So that means you have 30 left after that, which you could then go for Cafu, a 1 of 4 World Cup hero, a Path to Glory 1 of 5 player pick, or any of the insane other players that are inside of the selection. Let's say you want to get like that Danilo Perea, or if you want to get like, I, I kind of want to get the US guy, right? The US guy is uh, three swap tokens, Reggie Cannon. So that's kind of what I'm going to be looking for. Again, the best value here is so hard to find. If you're going from a pack standpoint, I think that the 3x 84 times 20, that'd be 20 tokens. I think after that, you could even go for another 84 times 10 with 10 tokens that take you to 30. Um, even the 82 times 20 that take you to 33 tokens, you're getting 100 players, all 82 plus and 80 of those 
being 84 plus that, that's incredible so that would be 33 tokens and then from there you'd have 17 left you'd be able to get yourself any of these players that you want or multiple players you could get a two eight token player items and still have one left over um or you know, there's so many cal combinations in here that it's literally impossible to find the best value one. But I would just have to say that for any calculation that you're coming up with, unless you're trying to get as many players as possible, get the 84 plus times 20 times three or the 84 plus times 60. That one is a big dub. And the only reason I wouldn't do that is if you're trying to go for Vieira. And Vieira is an option. It's just uh, you better be locked in with that card for the like the rest of the year until team this season, I would say with this Vieira, if that's what you want to grind towards and what you want to go for. So, I mean, incredible rewards. I love the emphasis on the players because I think that, you know, a lot of these swaps programs, we all just start thinking about the packs. And I love that in this swaps program, you have the opportunity to go and get the 84 plus times 20 times three, and you still have more than half of all the tokens left over to obtain where you can go out and get a guy like Fabinho, Kingsley Coman, Mason Mount, you know, Marata, Julian Brandt, support your national team or just support a player that you like by getting that card in the game. I'm a huge, huge fan of that. So that's kind of everything that's going on with objectives. And if you're like, Nate, what is this tab over here? What does this mean? Well, just like we talked about with these limited time cards, you're gonna try to gather and try to get as many of these as you can. Right now I'm on 17, which is not that many. There's gonna be ample opportunities and tons of ways to get these World Cup players, but the more that you gather, which means basically you pack, the more of these that you can pack through whatever sorts of packs that are out there, the better rewards we are going to get at the end. In 53 days, you see the timer counting down over there, 53 days when the World Cup season and, and this stuff is over, However many you have packed will then count up towards what level of rewards you get. And you can see, I, I believe that it stacks, right? You've got like 2,000 coins and 80 plus times five. You've got a one of four 83 plus player pick in here and 80 plus times eight, uh, 5,000 coins and an 83 plus player pick on tradable. You've got an 81 times 11. You've got a, a 100K pack on tradable. And then at the very end, we've got an 85 plus times three untradeable so there's some good rewards in here and i wouldn't be too worried about trying to open every single pack i'm not going to open the packs from the store i think there's going to be ample opportunities over the next 50 days for us to be able to get these world cup player items in our ultimate teams so i wouldn't be super duper worried about feeling like you have to get them right away right now and there's no other option i think you're going to have opportunities to get them throughout you know the next 50 days so i wouldn't worry about it too much there's going to be a lot a lot of opportunities there now last couple of things i want to talk about i got mad lucky yesterday and i want to know down in the comments if you've made it to this point in the video comment down below who you got in the world cup hero pack if you had one i got insanely lucky i got voler sorry i said his name wrong voler i got i'm gonna have to get it right i've been saying this guy's name wrong all year voler right? Fowler? Is that, is that right? Let me know in the comments down below. Fowler. But I'm going to have to get good at stating his name because I packed him and he is disgustingly good. Two games, two goals, foot champs for 2-0. He's going to lead us to our best foot champs finish, we'll see, of the year. 11 wins is usually where we end up stopping and I don't want to go any further than that. But again, guys, absolutely mental, mental, mental day. There was the servers going down. That kind of sucked. Uh, for a little bit of there, like I think it was like 10 to 15 minutes, we were not able to get on the servers, but it was an absolutely mental day. I really hope that the content just keeps kicking and that they started off with a big dub. I hope that it doesn't just fizzle out super quickly, uh, but there is a ton to do and we love that. Really quick, last second, Burkheis, you know, decently cheap, I guess you could say, but not a lot of love for this card. Uh, just because he's from an off league um, and stuff like that. Oh, really quick, I want to mention about the uh, limited time items as well. They operate with nation links and with club links. If I put Usman Dembele in my team, and then I also put uh, this Rabio, right? Both France, both have like the France crest in here too. If you see all the way over there on the left, you can see that the France, like uh, the, the little bird logo, right? The crest, if you will, it counts. You need two chemistry players or two players to get a chem point. Uh, and then, of course, my Rabio and my Usman already have a chem point because of the France nation. So the crest on these players counts as like, um, I guess it's the World Cup League, but it's specifically France club 
right? And I don't know if they get World Cup League Chem. I think they do. If you click on the card and look at it this way, you get World Cup League Chemistry and you get France uh, League Chemistry as well. So that's kind of how that works for chemistry, which I, I know some of you guys were curious about. Um, you know, I might try out this Usman. Probably not, though, because Kulisevsky is a baller. And, you know, it's cool to use these red cards in your team. Even though they're limited time, uh, it's still cool to use them if you have them because I've seen people packing Ronaldo's. I've seen people packing Benzema's, Messi. Like, they have those red cards in the game, and they're packable. So I think it's kind of cool to use those instead of golds, and that's another reason why the gold cards are dropping so much. But we're going to try to trade with some of those today, try to make a few more coins. The market yesterday was mad, um, and we're hopefully going to be able to make some more coins today and profit off of everything that is going on right now in this game but again the content is absolutely nuts so i'm apologizing for a longer video because i know it's like nate it's a saturday chill with it bro but hey there's just so much to do in this game it is unreal so we will see what surprises ea have for us today on saturday i hope it's robbie keen but we'll have to see if you enjoyed the video today smash a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you do it's been nate foot account i'll catch you guys later peace